plaintiff, Rodney Breheim, says the defendant is his nephew, and his father is Rodney's twin brother. Rodney claims when the defendant was a child, he often took him fishing and hunting. And as he got older, Rodney helped him out of some troubles. Rodney suing his nephew for the balance due on a loan. Defendant Adam Breheim says Rodney has never been married and doesn't have any kids, but he is addicted to online dating. Adam claims despite his addiction, Rodney has bad luck with women, and he insists the money from Rodney was a gift. Start with you. Your Honor, first thing I want to say is I'm here with mixed feelings. First, I'm very happy to, that you've agreed to uh, hear my case and stuff. I think you're very fair Thank and you. just man. I'm sad because I had to bring my nephew before court. I've known Adam even before he was born. His father is my twin brother. I watched Adam grow up. We've done many things together. <clears throat> I've taken him fishing. I've taken him hunting. And along with his sisters and stuff, I've gone to a lot of their functions. And as Adam got older, he got in a situation where he needed some help. And I was there for him. Is that involving the loan that you're referring to? You helped him or you helped him with other things? I helped him with other things. He came up uh, and helped me with my mm -hmm. shop. One time, uh, <clears throat> I broke down alongside the freeway. And I called him up and asked him if he would come and help me. And he said he would. He shows up. All these lights are flashing on this vehicle. I didn't know who the heck it was, you know. And I'm sitting by, uh, standing out behind my car, and, and he gets out of there. And I go, what's with all the lights? I says, you're late. Besides that, he goes, it's not when you show up. It's how you show <laughs> up, you know. Playing cop, <laughs> playing so, police. That kind of took the wind out of my, you know. How about significant cases. help to you that may have run into the thousands? Yeah. Because that's what you're suing him for. You helped him with thousands of dollars. He's trying to get an uh, understanding of the type of help he has helped you with other than picking you up on the side of the freeway. That's <laughs> Is that pretty much the extent? That's or? pretty much it, you know. All priceless. right. What's that? Priceless. Defendant Adam Breheim says the plaintiff is his uncle. And despite the fact that he's addicted to online dating, he has bad luck with women. Let me hear some background from you before we get to the loan. Well, Your Honor, I got to start by telling you that my uncle, he's a good guy, but he's got an obsession. He's obsessed with online dating. <laughs> All right, this guy, if you name a dating site out there, he has been on it. Do you mind him talking about this? He can throw stuff. All right. He doesn't mind you talking about online dating, so go right ahead. <laughs> well, <I> just, yeah, <laughs> open up that door. Hey, he's been on a lot of the sites. You know, not always had the best of luck. He tries hard. I'm still looking for the right woman. I've yeah. never been married. Yeah. All right. Well, go yeah. ahead. So, no luck, you said, for the most part. For the most part. You know, he took one of the ladies out to Vegas, and that didn't go as planned. He ended up paying for her to have her own room. So, you know, not that my luck has been a lot better. I'm no, no, divorced. You stayed with me. <laughs> divorced myself, so, you know, I just don't... I think when you break it down, it's... I just don't think he understands, you know, being a... Never been married, never had any kids. I don't think he understands the challenges that a lot of us face, the things that come up in life, and the priorities, you know? So, you know, it's All sad right. that it came to this, but here we are. Well, let's hear about your priorities, because he's suing you about a loan. What happened with this 3500 the 3500 in uh, August of uh, 2008, he called and asked me if I would co-sign for a loan for him to help him out with some financial situation. Since he had, uh, I had taken a co-sign for him alone several years before that, and he paid that off, had no problem. So I thought, you know, he's good for this too. I said, but under one, uh, one stipulation, and that is, he has the payments taken directly out of his check for that loan. Let me have the total amount of the loan. Oh, okay. Do you have the loan papers? I have the original. All right, let's see it, please. So what has occurred? In uh, May, he couldn't afford to pay, make the payments. May of? 2011. Okay. And so he couldn't afford the payments anymore, so I took the payments over in June. Did you all discuss you taking the I payments asked him over? What Did happened. you say, where's the money? Why aren't you paying? I asked him what was going on. He says, you're well aware of my financial straits and what's going on in my life. And I said, but Adam, you've got a loan that you agreed 
to, to, to take care of. I said, it, it's got to be taken care of. Well, I backed off. I took over the payments until, uh, from June uh, 2011, and I knew he was having problems, so I didn't bother him for about a year. Then I started asking him, say, hey, let's address this loan now. And every time I asked the guy, he always had an excuse. I can't afford it. I got bills, other bills to pay. I said, well, you got a bill to pay with me too, buddy. So uh, <clears throat> this went on for quite some time. Uh, in October of 2012, I paid off the loan. Okay. And, and 3,500 uh, is based on what? 3,500 is what based on what I paid in. I actually paid in uh, $3,721, but I'm only suing for the 35. All right. Defendant Adam Breheim says the plaintiff is his uncle, and despite the fact that he's addicted to online dating, he has bad luck with women. Let's hear from you. Well, Your Honor, as you know, he said, he admitted there that we never talked about this being alone. I assumed it was a gift. He just said that he Never just talked about what being alone. He just said you when he started about making it the being, be quiet. You just, talked about it being alone yeah. right here I, when you was, went to the uh, finance company. You we, said let me borrow and let him co-sign. That's talking about alone. But I didn't have that conversation with him as he just there told you. There was would you co-sign? Yep. Or did was there some type of mental telepathy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that he nothing was said. You all just got in the car. And you all communicated through mine. Let's both get in the car. <laughs> Start driving, nothing said. I have the papers, nothing said between the two of you. You just drove off. That's how it went, huh? It was over a year and nothing was said, like he admitted. We oh, you're referring to when you stopped paying. Yeah, when I paid $6,039 before hard times hit, went through a divorce, mm -hmm. went through a nasty... He never asked you why you weren't paying. I don't know, he probably did over the years. This was a few years ago, and he knew I was going so to was wasn't discussion. paying, but so I never said I'm going to start paying again right now. I couldn't afford it. But you didn't pay. Well, I couldn't afford to. All right, well, you didn't have to say it. You said it with your actions, and he had to to save his credit. All right, so you know now what to do, right? <laughs> Keep your signature in your pocket, and when he goes to communicate, <laughs> uh, I'm going I'm yeah, to put aluminum around right. my head. There you go. Put something around <laughs> your brain so you don't even hear. 3,500 <laughs> is your judgment. Well, have a good day. <laughs> judgment for the plaintiff. Well, I hope we can bury the hatchet and get back together. You know, uh, I've been close with you and your family and your kids all their lives also. So I hope we can <laughs> shake hands and let it be gone. Leave it in Chicago. That's right. Got a legal question? Go to AskJudgeMathis.com for the answer.